So we're in the clock tower? Yeah. This is our hideout. Jennifer. Is he talking to the bird? No. Yeah, yeah, the bird, yeah. He's talking to the bird. So Basso is the guy who's in charge of the thieving operations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a passing thing, sir. I'm sure of it, not the gloom. Nope, you're gonna die. In two days, send men to claim his property for the crest and have them bring a car. <laughs> oh, that's so depressing. That's so mean. <laughs> He's like standing right there. They're like, just kidding, he'll be dead. <laughs> I'm right here. No, don't care. No, so we're gonna send the funeral them. people to your home in a couple days. If they get there, he's totally fine. No, guys, wait! <laughs> I'm fine! I would have went for the pickle jar, Basso, a lot more weight. Karen. Shit. Wow, this guy looks creepy. I see you still can't work a door. You don't come to see me, you don't write. <laughs> I thought both you and Aaron had been killed in the mansion attack. Where the hell have you been? Oh my god, those eyes. I don't know. You don't know. Fine. Forget it. Far be it for me to pry about where you've been for the last fucking year. <coughs> I don't have time for this. <sighs> Especially with the Baron's new duty on opium, thanks to this gloom sickness. Not to mention the Thief Taker General's black tax squeezing us entrepreneurs. If you got a job for me, let's hear it. <laughs> Are you sure you're up to it? Okay. So, here's the gig. <laughs> I need you to obtain a ring for me. Getting married? <laughs> Never again. <huh? coughs> ah, you mangy bird. I swear one day I'm gonna have you made into a hat. Hey, that's like my bird. the brains of the uh, outfit. <laughs> I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> Good job, Basso. Good yeah, job. Yeah, 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 right. Uh, belongs to a guy named uh, Cornelius Greaves, one of those hoity toity types who doesn't have any shit on his boots. Ah! ah. Here you go. What's the catch? Uh, he's dead. I'm a thief, Basso, not a grave robber. Only recently deceased. My sources say he never took the ring off. Doesn't seem much of a challenge. Ah, challenge? We'll be getting to him before the Carters pick him over. Rumor has it they've been taking bodies to that old uh, foundry near Cinderfall. Crawling with the Baron's guards for some reason. Now, the best way to that place is through the old chapel. <laughs> and uh, don't screw this up, Garrett. Some of us still need to pay our dues. You can't tax what you can't catch. <laughs> yeah, 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 get out of here. 
And you use the door? Please? <sighs> Still, it's good to see you. <laughs> For some reason, that guy is really likable to me. Who, like, Basso? Yeah, even though he looks like really creepy and skeezy. Well, he's probably, he's one of those people who has like a, those characteristics. Yeah, he's like, ah, oh, yeah, I just don't give a shit. We're gonna go steal some crap. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you end up doing something that you should probably shouldn't be doing. And crying for our spirits. They're singing the tale of Baron Northcrest, the tapper who locked us in this iron... No one told me, so I am tell something for all Most your nefarious needs. He's having a piss. He looks like someone's dad, like, not like, <laughs> like a, someone who's gonna, like, sell you shitty things. Uh... He looks like a flasher, is what he looks like. Shut up! <laughs> like, he looks like he's like, do you want to buy a watch? And throw the coat open. <laughs> You're like, that's not a watch! That's not a watch! That's not any time piece I've ever his seen. dick over his wrist. It's a watch! <laughs> Half past dick o'clock! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Shut up. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> we sharpen his intuition by chewing on a poppy. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> it's like the magic. Because someone was like, poppies aren't blue, they're red. And I'm like, well, these are magic. Yeah. Poppies. I don't know. <laughs> it's 15 Always a pleasure. Is it the queen of the megas? Years breathing fumes at the works should keep our insides nicely proof. Coughed up some shit in my time. Remember old Ew. Tully kept a collection? Nah, that's Ew. not how it went. A quack was giving him two pennies each for a study. If Tully really got hacking, he could make more than we were getting paid. You're gone now. Right, well, I guess we should start saying things then. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Shit's spooky, yo. That's the last of them. There'll be more tomorrow. I'm starting to think they're the lucky ones. Are they lucky, eh? people? Some of these gloomers bite off their tongues to make it stop. Some push in their eyes or their ears. Uh. Luck wants nothing to do with this city. Puts his finger up. Nothing to do with it. I tell you... Nothing to do the with it. The old chapel on Morningside. The court of the Queen of Beggars. This, no old gods for the new city. This week, the Baron toured the sites of the recently demolished chapels in Dayport. He expressed his hope to return shortly for the inauguration of the pipe houses that would replace them. While some historians expressed dismay at the reconstruction work, all were quick to agree that the city must move forwards. Perhaps the buildings held historical significance, the Baron generously debated, but they must make way for the significance of the future. Truly, the Baron may be the third Northcrest to outlaw worship of the old gods, but the first to move beyond them. The Great Keep will ultimately provide power for the whole district. I wonder who the old guys, gods are, what the pantheon is. Whenever they talk about the old gods, that makes me think of, um... The seven faces of whatever in, in Game of Thrones? Yes. The gods and yeah. The old gods, yeah. It's a lonely night. It's the best kind. Mm. Ah, uh, Garrett, you walk a path few 
would wish. That's the only one I know. Quite. You know what they say about me. That you know everything that happens in this city. Not everything. Just the important things. Oh, it's an animal. <laughs> what brings you here? Seeking my counsel? A year ago, I was at the Northcrest Mansion. Something went wrong. What happened to me? What happened to Aaron? A year ago. Men who believed themselves to know best try to control something they didn't fully understand for their own ends. The balance has shifted. We can all feel it. That's your answer? When my beggars found you, after the accident, they thought you were dead. But you were not dead. So we healed your broken body and brought you from the city to, to keep you safe while we waited. But then, just after the gloom started, something began to wake you. It was time for you to return home. This city grows sick. It will tell you all in time, if you choose to listen. Careful, Garrett. There are worse things in the shadows than you. So, is she blind or not? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to figure out whether her eyes were like reflective, blind, possibly a glitch. I think she's blind. Because the guy was leading her around. I know, but then I guess she's supposed to be clairvoyant or something. Yeah. It's a very, you know, that's a trope. Blind lady clairvoyant. Yeah, pretty much. She was blind in her other senses. Came alive. Came alive but were heightened. She could <laughs> see all even though she could not see. <laughs> in the way that you and I do. 